Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Um, this is a, uh, I'm in the midst of prototyping another paintball prop and I wanted to show it to you. Uh, it's going to have many functions that currently aren't on here. It is a countdown uh, timer alarm and uh, you program it between, uh, you can program it between one second and 99 minutes and 59 seconds very easy to program the button is just here it's hard to see pardon all the wiring I, I did the lazy man's hardware job here uh, it's just so that I had full opportunity to uh, customize as I went along I didn't want to have solder joint for joint and it's a good thing I did this too because uh, I ran into a couple little problems anyway I programmed it today not done yet when the timer runs out <coughs> uh, really will activate. I'm going to interface this with a few other boards. It's going to make it fully customizable relative to hardware and software. But yeah, this is just the prototype board. So I'll program it by doing insta clicks here. Quick clicks, I can increment. So uh, this is seconds. Now if I go to nine, it resets back to zero. If I want to go to the next digit, hold the button, next digit. So, and this one goes up to Five, and then back to zero, so 59 seconds. Uh, I'm just going to program it to 20 uh, minutes. So you're programming in each digit. Now, once you've gone to the program in the last digit, I press this button one more time, and the countdown timer starts. So it's actually pretty accurate. Uh, I still have some tuning to do, so the inaccuracy uh, might be a little bit off. But the maximum is really a you know it's uh, one hour and 49 minutes for all intents and purposes so start so we'll see after a minute just how uh, just how accurate it is it's just a fraction of a second off uh, really it's very very close and actually when once the minute has elapsed uh, what I'll do is I'll show you the, the, one of the neatest things about this so far because obviously this is just a random you know it's just a countdown timer whoop to freaking do uh, but the neat thing is is uh, there's this wire here, and if I cut this wire, which I will do, it speeds things up by about third by about times a, multi a multiplier of 30. So it's just like in the movies when someone cuts the wrong wire, it either detonates or the uh, the timer starts counting down really fast. So I, I will be doing I will be cutting that as soon as the uh, as soon as the timer goes past one minute, so we can actually compare how close they are. And as you can see. We are very close. So they will reach a one minute around the same time. There we go. Pretty accurate. Anyway, I will clip this. The final product will have several wires. One will deactivate, several will detonate, and a few will uh, a few will do this. Pretty neat, huh? So as you can see, one minute's time has now turned from 60 seconds into about 3 seconds. So it's about 20, 20 times faster. Uh, anyway, pretty neat. Uh, when that runs out, currently what happens is um, a, a relay would turn on because time has run out, or uh, you know a bunch of different things could happen. I haven't fully decided yet. But in programming right now, what happens is the, the segment just seconds just turn off, and you know microamps are consumed. Uh, it just goes into essentially a reset state. So, or rather, a software loop. Time has run out. Bomb is detonated. So this will be for my new paintball ball website. I'm making a paintball prop website this summer. And right now I'm trying to get a whole bunch of videos together, a whole bunch of uh, kits together to uh, release all at the same time so that I can basically start the website with a bang. So if you like Airsoft, Paintball, Milsim, uh, hopefully you'll like that new site when it's up. Expect it this summer. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate your time. And have a great rest of the weekend.